I'm Jay Ray. I'm Rena. Keeping it real with Jay Ray and Rena. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> so today's topic is we're going to talk about hood memories, like different stuff. Yeah, different things we do when we live in a little ghetto <laughs> neighborhood. <laughs> uh, I remember I used to sit in the front porch and eat some hot Cheetos with some Kool Aid. <laughs> I remember I used to go outside and sit on my front porch and, like, not do anything. It was just so hot. I just sat there and, like, listen to, to, like, I used to listen to, like, really, like, rap, like, sort of rap outside. Like, like <laughs> my neighbors used to look at me like I was crazy. <laughs> Good night, Ashley. Interruption teachers. Just to let you know that if your video is not working, you might try Internet Explorer instead of Mozilla. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, that'd be fun. I know they talk too much. Yeah. But um, my favorite show from Disney Channel was Little McGraw, That's the Lady, and even Steven, Philly of the Steel. Still of the Future? Oh, that was I used to like that. That was my time. I used to like, uh, I used to like Lizzie McGuire. I used to be okay. I used to love that show by event. I, I used like to love that girl, show. that popular girl. <laughs> we actually had some girls out there that just feel like, this is more shocking. Yes. <laughs> oh, what, oh my god. Oh, uh, what other shows? I never really like, I guess like, Disney Channel was okay. Didn't but I used to like, I used to like freaking Nickelodeon, like all the old cartoons. Like, like Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold. They still have Spongebob. Yeah, um, I'm done. Um, my hat went up today. I turned 69. Oh, I used to love the show Invader Zim. I don't know what about it. I know Invader Zim. I'm sure you so good. What other shows? Oh, uh, other shows. A bunch of shows you used to watch. Um, I used to remember, like, sitting outside <coughs> of the curb of the neighborhood. Because I used to live on a dead end street. And, like, right next, like, where it ends, behind that fence, mm -hmm. is, like, what is it? It was like a junkyard, and like if your dog was behind there, you would hear it get shot. Ghetto. I hated that neighborhood. Like, it was a stupid little neighborhood. Like, you would see popos walk down the street, and sometimes they would come into your yard, just like, just, like stand there. And, and then Has the ever known? Like, oh my god, he passed out in my front yard. It was scary. I was like, God, we're gonna die. Have you ever noticed that hobos make, probably make more money than people who actually work? Yeah? So they just stand out there and just like. Well, maybe actually did after get a sign that says. I'll work for money. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be real cool. Nah, I'll work for money. You could have a successful business and still stand outside. I know. Like, and you probably, you probably get extra some cash. Mm -hmm. Go to school. Go buy, go buy a, a, a beer. <laughs> what they buy? Okay, I'll put the, 40, the 40 ounces. Oh. There's a bag. You drink them. I remember this one time when I was little. My <laughs> I remember this one time when I was little. Uh, like this, it was dark outside, so we were coming from the grocery shop, grocery store. I know we was black. I know. So then we were putting this stuff up, and then this this weird old man came. He's like, "Do you have any help?" My mom was like, "Oh." <laughs> so she would help us put it up, and then we closed the door. We we're about to get a car. This old man just sitting there looking at my mom, <laughs> and I'm looking at him like. Go away, dude. So my mom gave him a dollar. So then my mom was like, let's sit right here, see what he gonna do with that dollar. He went to the liquor store. <laughs> oh my God. Like, how he gonna go to a liquor store? I mean, you, it was a McDonald's right across the street. You could have got you a dollar, girl. I told you. I mean, he was spinning. He, 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 he was crazy. I used to live in Austin near, I used to live on near St. John's. And we used to have so many like really random things that happened around there. Like some lady with like a big coat and she had like a box full of cats and a basket. Like in those grocery carts. And she used to push them down the street every day. And she used to yell and I was like, who are you yelling at? And she was like yelling at her cats. She's like, what's wrong with this lady? Like, oh my God. What else happened? Um, the Dollar General was right there, got robbed. Like once, and they were like running down the street, and I was just like, oh my gosh. And I was like, mm, like eating at a Chinese restaurant that was like right there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get hurt. I'll be sitting there watching. Hey, get out of here! Scary music is just too much. Oh my god, this is too much. Oh my god, we got we got off topic.
I don't remember elementary. Who was elementary? Elementary was like super duper fun. Elementary was super fun. I switched around a lot. Like when I went, when I was in pre-K and then half of kindergarten, I went to Riley Elementary. And the rest of my kindergarten and first grade, I went to Manchaka, which was a bunch of white kids, <laughs> Asian kids, really proper people. And my mom tried to make me fit in over there. And then I second grade, I went back to Riley. Third grade, I went back to Manchaka. And then they didn't want me to either win any of those schools. They were like, no, you have to go to this, this or this school in order to do, like, whatever. So then I ended up fourth and fifth grade, I went to T.A. Brown. And that was, like, my school. And that's my best, my best friend that I have now. But... Well, that's it for today. So tell us what did you do for the hood memories? Hood memories. Salud. If you had any. Peace.